D. Ray Davis, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, brother. I mean, you go back like, like 20 years, I think. Easy. This is like the hardest working man in comedy. I mean, whenever I would go out anywhere, and I don't even go out that much, you're always there. Well, that's, that that sounds like the hardiest party in, <laughs> hardest party in dude in comedy. Like, wherever you at, I'm in the club. Right, but you're networking, you're working. Yeah, I think I mean, it's all it's all with me. It all goes together. I remember years ago, Bernie Mac said to me, he said, "You can't do both." He said, "He said, what you want to be? You want to be the club guy, or you want to be a comedian? Because you can't do both." And right. I was like, "We in a club right now, Bernie." <laughs> but I always thought I could do both because I get a lot of my material from the club, and really, that's why you don't hear comedians talk about going to a club too much and what really happens because they don't go out. And mm-hmm. if they do, it sounds like bullshit because they they don't live it. Right. You know what I mean, and I don't see comedians popping bottles all the time on the table. I don't, I don't see them living like rappers, and that's what I, I feel like I live like a rapper sometimes. There you go, man. But look, I'm so happy for you. You know, like you've been working the whole time I've known you. I've seen you elevate. Thank you. I've seen you do your thing, man. Genuinely happy for you. Sometimes horizontally, but I'm still moving. <laughs> it ain't always vertical. Sometimes it's a horizontal move, but as long as I'm getting my Sam Jackson on, that's what I'm trying to do. Right. You know, Sam stay working no matter what. So yeah. that's what I always want to do. And that's how you've been. Yeah. But now you got a Netflix special coming. Yes, Netflix. Uh, How to Act Black. Why that name? Um, I had a lot of names. I wanted to do like Sharper and Chappelle, Cuter than Kevin, uh, <laughs> names like that. Because I always try to jab at you know the comics. Like I treat it like sport. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you want to say I want to say I'm funnier than everybody. I want the name stuff like Funniest Fact. I still love that title. Um, but when I went to the meeting, they said what people know you, so they they go to my shows no matter what I name my tour. I sell out when I'm, I'm adding shows. I'm doing what I would be doing had I had a special out already. And you see comedians do specials, and you're like, oh, they blew up. And then they do these venues, and they sell the amount of tickets I'm already selling. Mm. So I'm like, maybe not, no, I'm not in the arenas. I'm not, but the but ones who go to the club, there's a lot of Netflix specials out. Basically, the question came up is, what do I do to be next level? What The people that don't know D-Ray, how do I grab their attention? You know what I mean? And I could have named it D. Ray Davis is D. Ray Davis. And, it, and some people that don't know me like, what the hell is this? You put a title like How to Act Black, the title beats out my name. Hmm. You know, that's what happened with the Kings of Comedy. You knew Cedric, you knew Bernie. Once you name some of the Kings, you gain, you gain their interest immediately. You're like, who thinking they the Kings of Comedy? Then they, you showed up and they showed you why. Hmm. How to Act Black, I felt like that name, just like you were discussing with me earlier, like, feels like a series already. Mm-hmm. How to act black, like everybody want to click on that. Everybody white, black, Latin, because people want to be black. Yeah. Even without essence of saying want to be black and want the skin color, just want to be cool. Like, no, there's no, there's no, uh, it's the, we're imitated often. Like, uh, black people are imitated, uh, uh, acting cool or, or doing something with the music come on. And the old six year old white guy walks in the room and some hip hop's playing, he acts like, like, oh, I know what this is, like, that's, like whatever he thinks it is to act that way. Um, it's, just, it's just a strong time for the title. It's necessary, I think, and, um, and it fit. And I'm saying um a lot, and I tell my daughter never say um, and I'm umming you to death right now. Because normally I have my thought process pretty much in order. But right now it's like, it's so many reasons why I named it How to Act Black that I can't even tell you. Like, it, it just felt... It felt amazing when I said the name and I Googled the name and I was like, don't nobody got this name? I was like, shit, I'm, that's it. Right, and you've always been kind of like a freestyle comic because I'm not going to say any names, but... People do the same shit. Yeah, like I remember I went to see this one, this one stand-up comedian and then literally like 15 years later, he had a special on Showtime and I watched the exact same thing that he did 15 right. years ago, damn near word for word. And I'm like, fuck, this is how y'all do it? Like, No, nah, some people are nervous about like stepping outside of their comfort zone for comedy. and Or they feel like that those jokes didn't get the airplay they should have got, mm. and they feel like they're still strong. I have material like that. I have some material from when I did Comic View. I wish I could revisit. Of course, I'll do it different. It'd be like a remix to it and make it better and strong, because when I was doing that, I was just doing, like thinking what I thought was funny, but now I would give it the the mm, that is that's necessary to it but freestyle is just my favorite thing because i have so much fun on stage by myself i'm up there laughing at my own jokes i'm up there having a good time and and being creative in the moment i love storytellers and people can make up stories at the same time people can take a story that's not so funny and make it funny 
So I think that has a lot to do with it. I get bored easy, man. I get bored with me. I get bored with other comedians' material. So that's why I'm always inventing on stage, mm -hmm. you know. And I feel strong about how to act black because it is it is written. You know, I freestyled like when I, when I did two shows and I the second show I really like kicked it. Plus the tequila was kicking in, <laughs> and those jokes that were normally like written out, I, I did definitely like go into the derayism of, and but um. I needed something that needed to be cataloged because I freestyle so much. People walk to me and tell me my jokes and I forget what I said. I'm like, when I say that, and they're like, the other day at the improv, is one of your jokes? I'm like, oh man, I was just talking shit. Like, that ain't one of my. No, I feel you. I mean, when you're in your zone, you know, because I mean, kind of, when I go through interviews, I kind of go the same way. Like, I didn't know what I say in interviews until yeah. later on when it comes out. You know what I'm saying? Because you're so now, focused. What do I ask them? Yeah, you're yeah. in it right now, so. Exactly. Now, you call yourself the king of roasting? I am. You are the king of roasting. I am. Okay. This is undoubtedly. I've been, I've probably been off my square a couple times. Like I said, Dion Cole's caught me off guard, Michael Blackson. But if we in a room, we just going, I'm, I'm not pulling from nowhere else. I'm not saying people do. I'm just saying I don't have to use no other comedian's jokes to roast you. I don't have to use nothing out of a, yeah. a bubblegum rapper to roast you. Like we, we I'm, a, I'm a, this what I, that's how I started. I started roasting. First time from on stage. You just start so roasting. I, that's what, yeah, that's what I do. My favorite thing in the world. My yeah. body heats up. It's like a superpower. Okay. I literally get hot. Like I'm about like we going. Like let's get it. Okay. So if you were to roast me right now, it'd be uncomfortable. I don't know if we we're gonna be <laughs> I'd have to turn off the cameras. Yeah, you might have to, especially if you got the sleeves. On, you know, I thought you still had on sleeves. <laughs> no, I just had hairy arms. Just here, the fur right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you know you can get that braided. No, look, man. <laughs> get it permed or something, man. It's just out here. At least you'll never be cold, like. Nah, I never will be. 